Okay, we are now, this is really one of the, the, the pilgrim highlights of, of Leiden, right? The William Brewster Alley, mm -hmm. or as we call it, Smelly Alley. <laughs> smelly Alley, yeah. <laughs> well, we still have some garbage cans in the alley, but in those days, this, these were really alleys where, well, many people lived together and, you know, everything was thrown out of the houses. So it was a really a smelly place. But it is the, the, the place where um, William um, Brewster had the, the printing shop uh, together with um, William, um, uh, or so, uh, sorry, with Thomas Brewer. And together they had the printing shop over here. Uh, they printed, of course, the books that were forbidden in England. So it was a very important place for them. Jori uh, told us yeah. uh, just now that uh, mm. because it was such a small uh, building, and actually we, I saw uh, this was in the press, in the National uh, Dutch Press yesterday, that they found the, the remnants of the original house of mm -hmm. uh, Brewster. It was such a place, he probably didn't have the printing press here, but he prepared everything for press, yeah. and then would go to one of the many presses or printers in the city yep. to, to partner up and to get help to get it actually printed right yeah. Yeah. but this was dangerous business it was dangerous i mean not in line because we had freedom of press yeah. but it was dangerous business for them because obviously this yeah. is not what the english crown wanted no and that's why uh i think it was thomas brewer who uh once was well he he, he couldn't um it was the english crown i think or he was um arrested and then he had to flee and um well, that, that was, of course, a problem, but I think it was his right. He was protected by the university because he was inscribed at university and uh, university this students. Gave, this gave a lot of uh, legal rights, I think, right. being inscribed in the university. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sure we'll talk about that uh, a bit later.